As more and more companies and startups continue releasing their advanced robots, it is becoming clear that soon humans will be jobless, and Elon Musk had this to say about this issue. Recently, he gave a speech at the World Government Summit, where he shared his views on the future of work and the need for a universal basic income. He said, What to do about mass unemployment? This is going to be a massive social challenge. Um, and I think ultimately we will have to... I think ultimately we will have to have some kind of universal basic income. I think it's going to be necessary. There will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. The much harder challenge is, how do people then have meaning? Like a lot of people, they derive the meaning from their employment. So if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, what's the meaning? Do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? But there will be fewer and fewer jobs that a robot cannot do better. Okay. The harder challenge, much harder challenge, is how do people then have meaning? Like a lot of people, they derive their meaning from their employment. So if you don't have, if, if you're not needed, if there's not a need for your labor, how do you, how, what's the meaning? Do you, do you have meaning? Do you feel useless? These are very profound and challenging questions that I think we all need to think about. What does it mean to live in a world where most of the jobs are done by robots and artificial intelligence? How will we cope with the loss of income, identity, and purpose that comes with being replaced by machines? How will we ensure that everyone has a decent standard of living and access to opportunities in such a world? According to some estimates, up to 47% of current jobs in the US are at risk of being automated by 2033. This means that millions of people could lose their jobs to robots in the next decade and face unemployment, poverty, and social exclusion. This is why some people argue that we need a universal basic income, to provide a basic income to everyone who loses their job to automation, and to prevent them from falling into despair and hopelessness. One possible solution that Elon Musk and many others have proposed is the idea of a universal basic income, or UBI. UBI is a form of social security that guarantees a regular and unconditional payment to every citizen, regardless of their income, employment, or status. The idea is that UBI would provide a basic level of income that would cover the essential needs of living, such as food, shelter, health, and education. UBI would also allow people to pursue their passions, hobbies, and interests, without worrying about survival or financial insecurity. UBI is not a new idea. It has been around for centuries and has been advocated by many philosophers, economists, politicians, and activists from different backgrounds and ideologies. Some of the benefits of UBI that have been claimed are It would reduce poverty and inequality by providing a safety net for the poor and vulnerable and by redistributing wealth from the rich to the poor. It would increase freedom and autonomy by giving people more choices and options in how they spend their time and money, and by reducing their dependence on employers, governments, or charities. It would boost innovation and creativity by encouraging people to experiment, learn, and explore new fields and domains, and by fostering a culture of entrepreneurship and risk-taking. It would improve health and well-being by reducing stress, anxiety, and depression, and by enhancing physical and mental health, happiness, and satisfaction. It would strengthen democracy and social cohesion by increasing civic participation, trust, and solidarity, and by reducing crime, violence, and corruption. Of course, UBI is not a perfect or simple solution. It also faces many challenges and criticisms, such as it would be too expensive and unsustainable by requiring a massive increase in taxes, public spending, and debt, and by creating a fiscal and economic burden for the society. It would reduce work and productivity by creating a disincentive to work and by lowering the quality and quantity of labor, skills, and output. It would create dependency and laziness by encouraging people to rely on handouts and by eroding their work ethic, motivation, and responsibility. It would be unfair and unjust by rewarding people for doing nothing and by ignoring the differences in needs, contributions, and merits of individuals. It would be impractical and unrealistic by facing political, legal, and administrative obstacles and by ignoring the diversity and complexity of social and cultural contexts. 
As you can see, UBI is a very complex and controversial issue that has no easy or clear answer. There are many arguments for and against it, and many uncertainties and unknowns about its effects and implications. There are also many variations and models of UBI, such as how much, how often, and to whom it should be paid, and how it should be funded, implemented, and evaluated. I think UBI is a very important and relevant topic that we should all learn more about and discuss with each other. I think it is also a topic that reflects some of the deeper and broader questions and challenges that we face as a society and as a species in the 21st century. Questions and challenges such as What is the meaning and purpose of work and life in a world of automation and artificial intelligence? What are the values and principles that guide our decisions and actions in a world of rapid and radical change and uncertainty? What are the roles and responsibilities of individuals, communities, and institutions in a world of increasing interdependence and complexity? These are not easy questions to answer, but I think they are essential questions to ask. I think we need to have more conversations and dialogues about these questions, and to listen to and learn from different perspectives and experiences. I think we also need to have more courage and creativity to experiment and explore new possibilities and solutions. That's why I made this video, to share with you my thoughts and opinions on UBI, and to invite you to join me in this conversation. I would love to hear from you. What do you think about UBI? Do you support it or oppose it? Please leave your comments below and let me know what you think.